Welcome back. In this video, I'll be teaching you everything about Pseudomonas arginosa that you'll need to know. So to memorize all the features of Pseudomonas arginosa, I use the nomenic Pseudomonas. It's the same nomenic that a lot of people use, but I just modified it a little bit so it contains more information and it's easier to remember. So P stands for pneumonia, especially in cystic fibrosis patients. And S stands for sepsis. E stands for ecthema gangrenosum, which is a rapid skin necrosis in immunodeficient patients. And U stands for UTIs. D stands for drug abusers and diabetic patients, which are common targets of Pseudomonas arginosa. O stands for osteomyelitis. M stands for mucoid capsule and melted skin infection which is infection of melted skin and burn patients and burn victims. And the second O stands for otitis externa, which causes swimmer's ear syndrome. N stands for nosocomial infections, especially for those patients with long dwelling catheters. A stands for all toxins of the bacteria, and they are exotoxin A, which will inhibit protein synthesis of the host, endotoxin, which will cause shock, phospholipase, which will cause cells lysis, and pyocyanin, which is a toxin produced by Pseudomonas to kill competing bacteria. And finally, S stands for skin folliculitis, which is also known as hot tub folliculitis. Other features of Pseudomonas is that it causes blue-green pigmentations if it's gonna cause any pigmentations, and also causes keratitis in patients wearing contact lenses. And to treat pseudomonas, we use anti pseudomonal beta lactams like penicillins and cephalosporins, and we also use aminoglycosides and carbapenins. Alright, guys, so that's everything I've got. Hopefully, I made this easier for you, and see you guys later.